Hey y'all, it's Hannah from Half Acre Heart. And today I am gonna show you how we treat Bumblefoot. We have another case of Bumblefoot. It is again with Doris. She's the black and white one there. You can see when she walks, she is limping. She is the only one of our ducks who has had Bumblefoot bad enough to affect her um, and to actually need treatment. All the other ducks, uh, if they have had any type of anything happen, um, it heals up just fine. Now, we would not typically expect her to be the one to have issues with Bumblefoot because she's the smallest, as you can see, of all of our ducks. So if anything, especially Daisy, Daisy is the largest. She's bigger than our male Walter over there. Um, we would expect one of them to get it just because they're so heavy, but it is Doris that's having the issues. So I'm going to show you her foot and then um, tonight we're going to treat it before we put her to bed. All right, so this is Doris's left foot. You can see right there in the middle, that kind of um, bump poking out. Um, there's nothing leaking out of it. She just stepped in, you know, poop. But we are going to treat it tonight. This is the opposite foot is when she last had Bumblefoot. Um, she seems really susceptible even though she is the smallest of all of our ducks. So um, it's really simple what we do to treat them. There is no cutting, no soaking. We're about to go and wrap Doris's foot. And this is everything you need. You need this ichthamol drawing salve. You can get it from your tractor supply. You need some gauze pads. I have one big one that I opened up, quartered, and then uh, fold one piece into a triangle. And then you're just gonna take a Q-tip, um, get a good glob and put it on your uh, gauze This pad. is about how much you need on your gauze pad. Um, it's not pretty, it kind of smells, but we're gonna take this out and um, just go ahead and put it straight on where the bumble is and vet wrap it. If um, the outer layer of the bumble had peeled off at all, then we would probably go ahead and clean it, but um, it's not, so we are, don't need to do that. All right, so we have her left foot, and we're just gonna take the gauze pad, make sure that the ichthamol is on where the bumble is, and then, oh, <laughs> she's okay, Ivy. <laughs> And then you're just going to wrap. You want to have it wrapped um, tight, but not too tight. Obviously, you don't want her to be uncomfortable, but you also don't want the bandage to come off. So I'm going to go around just a couple times on her foot. And then around her ankle, I'm going to go a little bit tighter with the vet wrap to make sure it stays on. And now she's all done. All right, and that is how we treat Bumblefoot around here. Um, we only have to change the bandage every two to three days. Um, even with her going in their little pool and all, um, it's perfectly fine as long as the ichthamol is still on there and it is basically like tar. So um, by the third day, there's not much left um, and we definitely go ahead and change it. Also to give her a little bit of relief because she does not like being bandaged. So sometimes I will take it off um, let her walk around um, for a while and then before we put them the, to bed I will rebandage her um, and we do have to do this for like two to three weeks until it's fully healed but since we're only doing it every two to three days like changing the bandage it's really not that big of a deal so um, we love doing it this way because there's no cutting and we don't have to stick them in a bucket. We did try that way and um, she was not happy, we were not happy, and it wasn't really healing that well. So um, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful in your journey to heal your duck or your chicken of Bumblefoot.